All right, so in this video, I want to give you a couple more examples of the factoring binomials only. So, uh, if you'll look at this one, and it's already in multiplication, so we don't have the same change flip, uh, the numerator up here is actually already factored for us. All right, uh, everything up here is multiplication. Two times x plus one times another x plus one times another x plus one. Remember, that's what that you know three for an exponent does for you. <clears throat> All right, in the bottom, we can take an 8 out of both terms. So let's rewrite it here, 2x plus 1 third. And we're going to be taking out an 8. So 8 times 3 gives us 24. And then 8 times 1 gives us 8. All right, over here, we've got 12 and 4. You can factor a 4 out of both of those. That'll be a 3x plus 1. In the bottom, they both have a 4 and they both have an x, so let's factor out a 4x. All right, that's going to leave us with an x. You know, 4x times x gives you 4x squared. And then 4x times 1. All right, so here we've got several things that will cancel. Um, because it's multiplication, if you want to do this, you can. Uh, you can just draw... You know, big, you know, a big uh, division bar, and consider all this multiplication if you want to. <clears throat> so, this four will completely cancel with that four. I see that. This x plus one will cancel with one of those x plus ones. So there's that, and this will become a two. Uh, let's see, that two and that eight. You can divide them both by two. So this will become a 1, or not at all, and this will become a 4. You've got a 3x plus 1 and a 3x plus 1. Those will cancel. And your x will not cancel with anything. And your 4, there's nothing, there's no other numbers up there left to cancel with, so we're done with this one. Uh, we'll just multiply out the rest. So we're going to have nothing but x plus 1 squared on top, and then on the bottom, we'll have a 4 and an x, and that's it. I think on your homework assignment, I think I'm having you guys uh, multiply that kind of stuff out, so your other type of answer would just be, you know, x squared plus 2x plus 1, if you multiply that out, over 4x, but either answer is technically correct. Uh, it just depends on what the instructions ask you to do. All right, our second example here. All right, so it's already in multiplication, and that whole denominator and that whole numerator are identical. So if you want to, you can actually cancel those out from the very beginning. All right, there's, there's no factoring to do there. 3x plus 2 does not factor, but you can cancel a 3x plus 2 with a 3x plus 2. Now, the... Uh, let's see what we have left here. We've got 4 minus 8x over 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1 will not factor. This will factor. You can take a 4 out of both terms. So we'll still have our 2x minus 1. And up there, if we factor out a 4, this is going to be a 1 and a minus and a 2x. Now you see these two, these two factors are actually really close to each other. Instead of 2x minus 1, it's 1 minus 2x. Uh, the trick, whenever you have something like that, you can actually factor out a negative 1 out of the numerator. All right? So I guess we'll, we'll look at what that is. So instead of just a 4 out here, we're going to factor out a negative along with it, which is going to make this a negative 1. And instead of this being a minus 2x, it's going to be a plus 2x. All right. And on the bottom, you still have your 2x minus 1. Now, this and this are identical. They are the same thing. Instead of, you know, negative 1 plus 2x, you could rewrite that as 2x minus 1. They are identical. So now that you factored out that negative, you know, see all I did really was I, I put the negative on the, the 4, and then I changed both the signs inside. But now that it's factored, 
you can cancel that factor with that factor. All right. So your final answer is just negative 4. That's all that you have left after that.